Alright, we are going to create a title block, um, a sort of an intro or a continuation of our intro to Revit. So the first thing you're going to do is come to your families here and go to New. Revit title blocks are families, so just click on New Family. Should bring up your family templates folder, and if I show you the pathing, that's where it is in case it doesn't. And if you don't have this folder, you need to contact me and we'll figure out how to get your content. So I'm going to double click on English Imperial and I'm going to come and double click on the title blocks folder. Revit gives us some basic title block sizes and so we're going to choose the 36 by 24. And click open and it opens up um, a template and then it wants us to save it as a family. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to save here and um, <clears throat> we have a custom library that you guys made. So what I want you to do is navigate to that custom library. Um, you should have it in your um, favorites pane over here. And then if you scroll down you should have title blocks. And I'm just going to save over one that I have here. Um, you should be consistent about the way that you are naming your title blocks. So they stack consistently and they're not sort of you're not sort of searching around for one size or the other. But I'm just going to say save here. And it's going to overwrite the existing. You may have a one that doesn't. And then the first thing I'm going to do is create a line. So Revit has given us an outline already of the 24 by 36 size, but we can go ahead and create a line for a gutter over here under the Create tab. And once you do that, you have an option of multiple different kinds of lines over here. I'm just going to stick with the straight one. And when you come over here and hover over one of the lines, it will show sort of, okay, I'm going to draw from this line either turns blue, mine turns red because I have it set a little differently. And then you get a listening dimension that's telling you where you are from the closest other line. So if I wanted to draw this at two and a half inches, I could let that listening dimension go to two and a half and then left click and it starts to give me distances for this line, angles from, you know, where I'm drawing. And then if I go vertical, it'll give me a alignment line that's blue and dashed. And if I come down here and it will allow me to select that line and left click. So I basically have that. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit and you'll see that it's actually giving me listening dimensions after I've selected it. So I can actually pick on these <clears throat> and I could say, oh I want that to be three inches and it will move it over or I can say, oh no, I want it to be two. Once you're done, you can hit escape a couple of times and it will take us out of the draw line command. So hit escape. <clears throat> You can also reselect this and it'll give you those listening dimensions, so 2.5 inches, right? You can also, um, whoops, doesn't like the, oh, I put a comma in there and not a period. There we go. Um, you can also move it um, using the move command here, so first selecting it and then going to move, and then you can pick and move it, you know, however far you want. Move that back to three. Or you can drag move it. So hover over it and just drag. And you'll see that it's a, it's keeping it aligned, but you can sort of move this guy back to two and a half if you want to. Okay? All right, so that's um, creating a line and sort of understanding how Revit moves things around. Let's go ahead and create a new line type. Let's say we wanted a different type of line. So I'm going to go to my Manage and my Object Styles here. And it's going to bring up the Title Block category for lines. Um, and so I'm just going to come and highlight that and create a new subcategory. And I'll name this um, thick, or they're calling it wide, so I'll call it wide gray line. And I'll click OK. And it'll add that and I can change the qualities of it, right? So the line weights are, are done by number and we'll talk about that process later, but I'm just going to make it the thinnest is one and the thickest is I think 16. Right, So I'm just going to go to 10 here and create a pretty thick line and then I'm going to set it to a light gray color and I'll leave it set to solid. I'll click OK. So now I can pick this line and you'll see up here under the subcategory of title blocks I now have my wide gray line right? and I can go in and see that that's now doing a wide gray line. And then I could draw more of those if I wanted to. Okay, Alright, so um, Go ahead and get that guy set up, create the line types that you need, um, and then when we come back, um, we will insert an image and put in some text and maybe labels.